Today's topic is constant acceleration at the x and at the y direction. I'm going to do two experiments simultaneously to show you example of both, right? Constant acceleration at the x direction and constant acceleration at the y direction. Both experiment at the same time. When the red turns to green, right? When the red turns to green, I hit the gas and the car accelerates with 3.5 meter per second square, right? All you need to find the distance, how much distance the car moved when the final velocity was 25 meter per second. That's it. So, and of course, six graphs. So let's do the six graph first. This is, there are six graph here and six graph over there. So this is dt, this is displacement versus time. This is uh, st, this is uh, velocity versus time. This is at, and this is acceleration versus time. And there are six graph over here, an object uh, fall with the free fall. And when you drop an object, Initial velocity by definition is zero. So six graph, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, for this one, uh, of course, this is constant acceleration. So this is quadratic. This is uh, the diagonal. This is diagonal at the negative direction. This is horizontal. This is horizontal negative. Okay, now we're going to find the time. Before we find the time, we find the acceleration, which is negative 3.5. Okay, we know the velocity. Velocity is, uh, we try to find, okay, we try to find the distance when the velocity is 25 meter per second. So velocity is negative 25. 25. Okay, so we are trying to find the time, of course, and the velocity. Okay, so the time, how can we find the time? Uh, time, finding the time is easy. Vf is equal to Vi plus At, right? V is 0. Vf is uh, 25, right? Along the tree first, 25, and this is 3.5. And then t, so 25 divided by 3.5, 7.1. So we're going to just say 7. Uh, 7 second. The tree for 7 second, 7 second, 7 second, 7 second, and 7 second. All we need to do is find how long the tree for. So vf is squared is equal to vi is squared plus 2ad, right? So vf, of course, is 25 is squared. vi is 0. 2 acceleration is 3.5. So D. So D is actually negative 25 squared over 7, which is 89. So this is 89 and this is negative 89. You can find the D different way. You can find the D this way. All right? All right. So half B squared, half B is 7.1 and h is uh, 25, or negative 25. And that gives you, that should give you the same uh, 89. So let's see. Um, you have um, 0.5 times 7.1 times 25, and that's indeed 89. This area under the curve is, uh, displacement is 89 meter, and the distance is, 89 meter. You should be able to find the displacement this way as well. VIT plus half AT squared. This is zero, right? Because he started from a rest. And this is uh, 7.1 squared. So 7.1 squared uh, and then times uh, 3.5 3.5 times 0.5 is actually 89. 
So this is also 89 uh, meters. So no matter how you do, you end up getting the same answer. Now let's come over here. The distance is uh, distance versus time, displacement versus time, speed versus time, uh, velocity versus time, acceleration versus time, acceleration versus time. The distance is uh, curve, so the speed is uh, diagonal, the acceleration is horizontal. This is a curve, so this is a diagonal negative, this is a horizontal negative. How long did the ball fall? I said two seconds. Okay, what was the acceleration? Negative 10. The velocity is Vf is equal to Vi plus At, right? So then when you drop something, by definition, initial velocity is zero. So Vf is equal to negative 10 T because G is equal to negative 10 meter per second square. Okay, and acceleration is due to gravity. Okay, so then if it is false for two seconds, negative 10 times 2 so velocity is negative 20 so velocity is negative 20 the speed is 20 all right distance p is equal to vat plus half at squared since initial velocity is 0 v is equal to negative um, negative 10 t is 2 squared so this is 5 5 times 4 is uh, negative 20 so displacement is negative 20, distance is 20. Okay, so the final thing I'm going to show you is this. When an object falls, right, what remain, what, what, what is the name of this vector? What is the name of this vector? What is the name of this vector? Okay, so the name of this vector is, of course, displacement. The name of this vector is, of course, velocity vector. The name of this vector is, of course, acceleration. How can you justify that? The acceleration, which is gravity uh, acceleration due to gravity which is notation is uh, lower is lower case g is negative 10 meter per second squared how does that make sense this is constant all right as time go because this is t is equal to zero uh, this is t is equal to two second all right as time increases as the ball comes from here uh, zero meter to all the way 20 meter uh, as the time increases, the acceleration due to gravity remains the same constant. All right, the time has nothing to do with the the acceleration due to gravity. Same. This one increases linearly. This one increases linearly as the time go up. The velocity go up by linearly. V f is equal to V i plus a t. So this one increases linearly. As the time go up, the displacement increases quadratically. So this is uh, increases quadratically, this increases uh, linearly, degree one, and this is constant. This doesn't depend on the time. Good. Now, the next question probably I'm going to give you is this. If um, uh, if you throw a ball, If you throw a ball in the air with 90 degree, then it's going to make a trajectory. 90 degree. If you throw a ball in the air, is all right. You throw a ball in the air just like this. All right, goes up and comes back to your hand. Okay, so you cannot throw off anything with zero velocity. So the initial velocity has to be more than zero. Let's say 20 meter per second. 20 meter per second. Okay. And what I want you to do, and let's say 
T1 is also 0 second. At, I wanted to find T2, T3. Okay, I wanted to find V2 and V3. And I also want you to do six graph. Let's find this, and then we're going to do the graph. Uh, before I do anything, let's see whether I can uh, motivate you by using uh, this equation. All right, so Vf is equal to what? Um, let's say, I don't know. As you see, same equation give you two answers. Which answer is correct? Two second or four second? Or are both of them correct? Two second object only move half of the trip, right? Uh, when the velocity is zero. And I use the fact that velocity is zero. Object moves four second when the velocity is negative 20. Uh, four second when the velocity uh, velocity is negative 20. And this is negative 20. Why is that? Because the final velocity is same in magnitude but opposite in direction. Okay? Always. Now you can find the max height, uh, max height of the ball. Okay? So Vf squared is equal to Vi squared uh, plus 280. So Vf is zero. The ball at max height when the velocity is zero. We said it many times. And Vi is 20 squared minus 20d. So uh, the max height is 20. So this is 20 meters. Okay. And now we're going to do six graph. One, two, three, four. Five, six, distance versus time. And this is displacement, this is speed, this is velocity, this is acceleration, this is acceleration. Okay, let's do something. Call it A, call it B. This is velocity, this is acceleration. At A, at B. What is the velocity? Velocity is positive from here to here, velocity is positive. From here to here, velocity is negative. From here to here, acceleration is uh, negative. Why? Velocity, acceleration. That's why the object is slowing down. Velocity, acceleration. That's why the object is speeding up. Okay, so the velocity is maximum at right here. Okay, velocity is zero here. Velocity is maximum here. Okay, so we have to find this velocity. Um, and uh, the, what the velocity is? Negative 20. What is the velocity here? Positive 20. What is the time over here? Four. Okay, let's do the speed. The speed is maximum over here. The speed is zero over here. Okay, an absolute value of this one is, absolute value of this one is this one. Okay. So what is the acceleration? Acceleration of this line. Absolute value of this one is how long the tree was? And what is the acceleration? Okay. What is the velocity here? 
what is the velocity here? When velocity is zero time is, when the velocity is 20 time is, when the velocity is negative 20 time is, okay. Now, absolute value of this one. So, absolute value of this one, if this one is diagonal, this one must be um, curved. Okay, if this was like this, then this would be like that. But if this is like this, that means what? What does that mean? That means velocity is positive, but acceleration is. Okay, so. All right, this is from here to here. From the other one, from here to here, Okay, so it's four over here, is two over there. Okay, and this one, velocity is maximum over here, velocity is zero over here, velocity is maximum over here. Okay, so now what is this one? What is this one? Well, half a bh. Half b is how much? Two. H is how much? Twenty. So this is 20, this is negative 20. This is 20, this is 20. So the total distance is 40 meter. Total displacement is zero meters. All right. So, okay, good luck with the exam tomorrow.